Hello and welcome to the next lesson of our PLC programming course. In this lesson you will program a system with latching output. Let's start. I'm using the same project as in previous lesson. You can download the template under the previous video. Previously we have programmed the following scenario. If you press the start button and hold it for a moment, of course you have to switch off the selector. Okay, if you press the start button and hold it for a moment, after a while the pneumatic cylinder will stay extended, will stay in extended position. If you click the selector switch, the system will be reset. Okay, now let's assume a new scenario. Now your task will be to program extension of this pneumatic cylinder after momentarily pressing the start button. So pressing the button will be a trigger for the pneumatic cylinder to extend. So now if I press the button for a moment, the cylinder starts moving and if I release the button, it goes back to its home position. So now your task will be to program structure for this ladder diagram that will trigger extension of the cylinder by pressing the start button like this. There are a couple ways to complete this task. One way can be to use the output signal as the operand of normally open contact. Look, here I can delete this operand and I can use the output as the operand of this normally open contact. Okay, let's download this code to PLC simulator and let's check. Now if I press the button, the cylinder starts moving and it stays in extended position. Look, I start the movement with start button. In the first PLC cycle, start button energizes the coil. But then after releasing the button, the coil is energized by this branch. So you can see that the coil energizes itself. We use output variable as the operand of normally open contact. And the circuit closes right here. Now, if you want to move the cylinder back to home position, if you want to retract the cylinder, you have to break the circuit. You have to switch this selector switch. Okay, now let's change our code. We have used X start variable. This is the signal from start button and selector switch. Now let's change this selector switch to stop button like it is used in control systems. Now please pay attention to signal of stop button. If this button is not pressed it provides logical one, true. If you press this button it provides zero. It means that this physical signal 
is normally closed. Stop buttons usually are designed to be physically normally closed. So now the button is not pressed and it provides true. Okay, so now let's insert here variable x stop. And now you have to consider whether this contact should be normally closed or normally open. We can check this code by downloading to simulator. And let's see, now the stop button is not, not pressed. If I press the start button, nothing happens. The diagram is highlighted in green until this moment. And here the stop button breaks the green line. So this button should be connected to normally open contact. Okay, as you can see now this contact is highlighted in green. So if I press the start button, it energizes the coil. And now if I press the stop button, the cylinder retracts. Perfect. One more time. Start. And stop. Okay, take your time to analyze this code. If you will be done with this exercise, please proceed to the next lesson. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.